CAT C20E Corded Auto Floor Scrubber Quick Start Guide. This video guide will help get your CAT floor scrubber set up and running quickly. Review the complete instruction manual included with your floor scrubber. Scan the QR code on the carton for additional CAT product details, specs, and accessories. Cut away the plastic wrapping and poly banding from the outer carton. Remove the staples at the base and lift the carton over the floor scrubber. Cut the poly banding and remove the wrapping from the machine. Remove the wood chocks and wheel strapping on both sides. Lower the built-in pallet ramp and check for clearance prior to machine roll-off. Step on the rear pedal to raise the front pad driver and lift the rear handle to raise the squeegee assembly. Carefully roll the floor scrubber off the shipping pallet and down the ramp. Loosen both knobs on the squeegee assembly and place it at the rear of the machine. Align the knobs with the slots on the squeegee assembly. Once installed, tighten both knobs and connect the vacuum hose to the center. Remove the power cord, instruction manual, and keys from the collection tank. Connect the GFCI power cord to the scrubber and a wall outlet. Test the GFCI breaker by first pressing the reset button, then the test button, and then the reset button once again. Remove the cap and fill the tank with clean water and the proper cleaning solution. Check the water level gauge to avoid overfilling. Ensure the water valve at the base is in the horizontal open position. Install the correct type of scrubbing pad based on your floor care and scrubbing needs. The pad driver is included and pre-installed. Scrubbing pads are sold separately. Insert the key and turn to the on position. Lower the squeegee to the floor by lowering the rear control handle. Lower the pad driver to the floor by disengaging the rear pedal. Engage the vacuum and scrubber motor by pressing both buttons on the control panel. Your CAT C20E Auto Floor Scrubber is now prepared and ready for operation.